Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about the Live Free Armory Amp. Alright, now first things first, we're going to talk about the elephant in the room. Not me, I'm not that fat yet, plus I don't look good in gray. I've seen the video, you've seen the video, everybody's seen the video. I've got my suspicions on why that one didn't work. I'm not going to get into a flame war with anyone, but I'm here to talk about my amp and how this one has worked for me. Now, full disclosure and per FCC rules, they did send this to me for testing. I have done a lot of stuff with Live Free Armory. I'm going to continue doing a lot of stuff with Live Free Armory. Everything that I've gotten from them has worked fine, has been perfect for me, including my amp until I started playing with it. We'll talk a little bit about that. So until those guys either say, hey, we don't like working with you anymore, or it completely goes to hell, I'm going to keep working with those guys because I've talked to them quite a bit at SHOT Show and at NRAM in emails through text i like those guys everything they've done for me has been on the up and up and i like where they're going now for my amp i took it out i got about 200 rounds through it right from the start didn't have any problems with it and then i started playing with it so let's talk a little bit about what i did where i ran into some issues and what i think of this one so far if you like this video hit that like button down below it helps out the channel gets me a little more attention from Al Gore's rhythm so hit that like button doesn't cost you anything if you think somebody else might enjoy this video please share it out if you really like this video consider subscribing that is available somewhere down here let's get back to the video now I took this out completely bone stock before I started doing anything, I put about 200 rounds through it. Didn't have any issues with it in those 200 rounds. And then I started playing with it, seeing what would work, what wouldn't work. We'll kind of go over the things I've done, give you some pictures here of what it looks like when you take it completely down and what issues I ran into and what works in it fine. Now, the first thing you're going to notice is these aren't the standard grips come standard with aluminum grips. They've got a little bit of texturing on them, but it's not fantastic. These are not super grippy, but these are just the plain black standard grips. They're putting this on both colors of producing of this, the black and the FDE here. Now these guys did hook up with lock grips and lock grips is making two grips specifically for them that you can purchase over at Live Free Armory. These are the flat dark earth ones to go here on the flat dark earth pistol they also have a black and gray one to go on their black pistols and of course since i'm on the orange service plan from lock grips when they started making the other grips for them those guys messaged me and said hey 
you want a pair of the orange black on here i wasn't sure how the orange black would look on the flat dark earth but i think it turned out pretty good i also ordered a pair of the just plain black so if i wanted to go back to more of the stock look but with a little more texture and get some super grippy panels on there i can go back to just the plain black on there and of course lock grips has all the other colors out there that they make that they can make for these live free armory amps so one of the first things that i did when i got the amp was i put my swamp fox on there because it's optics cut of course it was going to get an optic on it the swamp fox with the liberty is my go-to optic on there because this gives me everything that i'm looking for in a red dot it gives me the top load gives me a three moa dot on there we've got manual brightness adjustment and of course putting the iron side shields on there gives it a little extra protection on there if you do end up dropping it uh, as you can see we don't have the stock sights on here anymore that was the one problem that i did have with this is that my front sight worked loose then i put some blue loctite on it it worked loose again and then i put more on there tried to crank it down ended up snapping it off and i ended up putting these our ameriglow sights on there that i had in the drawer and they've been on there fine since i used the excess sights little red loctite or a vibratite that they send with them these have not come loose since i used that i will open it up so you can take a look here as if you were going to clean it and of course changed our guide rod to stainless steel guide rod change the back plate um, i did change the safety plunger to a polished and chamfered safety plunger in there but all the other internals are the same there is your barrel from it and of course everything just goes back together like that now the magic in this is that this one is an fcu kind of like the sig sour you have your trigger housing that goes into it back here you have your locking block pin there your locking block will come out you have your trigger pin there and you have a pin that is actually right about here behind the grip so you take your roll pin out that's up here you take your trigger pin out you take your pin out back here and then your fcu does come out i found that it's easier to change the stuff taking this out than to worry about taking that locking block out now the slide release takedown lever here is included in this this is one of the parts that is not gen 3 compatible the magazine release is obviously not gen 3 compatible most everything else in here i believe is gen 3 compatible though i did run into an issue with the zev pro the full kit with the trigger housing and everything i did run into an issue with that whether it was the trigger bar or something else about it i could get it on and i could only get to about there now with just the trigger and with the stock housing that came from live free armory i was able to put that zev pro trigger in there and it functioned fine i put a surfco performance trigger in there function fine and we ended up with the steel city arsenal trigger in here that's function fine so let's take a look here in the complete takedown i took a bunch of pictures as i was putting stuff in and taking it completely down to see how everything fit in there here you have the original just the frame you can see where the pin is that goes behind the grips there and then we start to take it apart so here you can take you see we've taken the fire control group out i did take it all the way out the first time when i did it so we've got the locking block sitting there we've got the whole fire control grip or fire control group and then we have just our frame which isn't serialized because the serialized part is the fire control unit and this is what you look like what you've got when you take everything out of it 
and you're looking at the top down. The indention there on the front side of the pistol there, right in front of the where the trigger pin is, is where that roll pin goes through and locks into the fire control group. And there's our fire control group. You can see we've got a little wear on it because we were out there shooting it, getting our first 200 through. But we have your um, takedown lever there on the left side. And then everything else just drops into that and the whole thing drops into your pistol frame. And here you can see the side of it. I've been told by Ethan there at Live Free Armory that if you do decide to take out that takedown lever, you're going to need a new spring. So I haven't bothered taking that out. I haven't seen any need to take that one out. That one has got plenty of meat on either side to get a hold of. And that little nipple there on the front of it there, that is the part that goes down into that hole in the frame so that your roll pin goes through there. And then of course you can see your trigger pin hole and your locking block hole on there. The trigger housing, that pin actually goes through the trigger housing and doesn't go through the FCU. There is the bottom side of the FCU when you've got everything out of it except the takedown lever. And there we go. There everything is out and I'm about to start some surgery. Now like I said, when I changed out to try out the Zev Pro trigger the whole thing with the trigger housing and everything in there I did have a problem with it going in here I don't know if Live Free Armory has got a proprietary locking or trigger housing in there if it was just something in the trigger bar with the Zev Pro and the whole system going in there I couldn't get the whole system if I put just the trigger in here it did function fine the cervical performance function fine in there and I ended up with the Steel City Arsenal here in the flat dark earth which functions fine I've been out there numerous times with this since I put that in there and everything is run fine I switched out the guide rod to a stainless steel guide rod right off the bat I changed the back plate on here I switched to the polished and chamfered safety plunger in there and I did put the three and a half pound connector in here so I've done a lot to this one and this one runs fine the only problems I had with it was I did have the problem with the front sight and then I made it worse and broke the front sight so I've changed these out haven't had a problem since I put the excess Loctite on there I did try it with a threaded barrel from Backup Tactical when it was just past that 200 rounds and it was very tight to get the slide on and get the slide back off, but it would function fine. Now it's got a few more rounds through it. That barrel fits a little bit better in here now. I don't have a problem getting it on, getting it in the slide, getting the slide on and off, but I could not get the amp to run with a compensator. so. I don't know enough about compensators. I tried everything from a 20 pound spring all the way down to 13 pound spring. 13 pound spring wasn't gonna work at all because it wouldn't even return to battery. So I couldn't get it to run with the compensator, but I'm not a compensator guy. I don't know all the tips and tricks to get them in there and get them running in something. And of course, we've got the Swamp Fox on the top there and we've got these awesome live free armory orange black grips on there and i'm currently testing the phoenix gl 19r which is their brand new light that they just brought to market so far i like that a lot i like the activation of it it's got a push to it and turn it on and then you push again and it strobes and you can also change your brightness by holding down the one and pushing the other side it's also rechargeable full video coming on that down the road so there is the live free armory amp like i said i haven't had any problems another channel did i can't say what their problem was with it i can tell you what mine wasn't and the one issue that i did have was the site and i will also tell you that I've liked this so much, I actually made them make me pay for an Amp X. So that one will be coming. 
They've also started doing some version 2 upgrades to it because of that other video. So check them out. Lifetime warranty on everything. Like I said, these guys have been good to me. I like working with them. They've been straight with me. I'm going to keep working with them. Call me a shell. I don't care. They're good guys. Like, share, and subscribe to this video. We'll catch you guys on the next one.